Hey everyone, welcome back to Damn Tasty Vegan. It's Marie Rose. And today I'm gonna to show you how to order vegan at Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell because it is a vegan's best friend when you're traveling. So before the shit hit the fan, I was gigging pretty much every weekend. And no matter what town I was in, small town, middle of nowhere, no vegan options around at all, I could always find something to eat if there was a Taco Bell there. And nine times out of 10, there's always a Taco Bell, if you live in the States anyway. The beauty of their menu is that they allow you to make customizations. So anytime there's beef on the menu, you can substitute it for black or refried beans. And you can ask for things to be made fresco style. So when you order something fresco style, it takes off the cheese and dairy and it adds like a pico de gallo sauce on it. So I'm just about to go through the drive through and order three items on the menu. And I'm also gonna give you a detailed rundown of their menu and show you more things that you can customize and order to make vegan on their menu, because there's a lot. <laughs> Let's go through the drive through Hi, yes, could I have two black bean crunch wraps, fresco style? And can I add guacamole and potatoes to that as well? A nachos bel grande. And can I substitute black beans for the beef? Add guacamole and lettuce to that, please. And no sour cream or cheese on that, please. Cheesy bean and rice burrito, no cheese, no jalapeno sauce. And can you add black beans, potatoes, and guacamole to that, please? And that'll be it. Thank you. Hope I didn't confuse them. <laughs> well, let's see if they get it right. All right, so we made it home. And one thing you wanna make sure that you do at Taco Bell is to pull off to the side when you get your order and make sure that they got your order right because I'd say four out of 10, they forget and they add some cheese or sour cream and stuff like that. And it's no big deal, just go through the drive-thru, you know, ask for it to be made without sour cream and stuff like that. I'm gonna start with the Crunchwrap Supreme. This is a really nice one to get because you don't have to modify it that much. You just have to get it like fresco style. And then you can jazz it up a little bit by adding the potatoes and guacamole if you want. Sometimes I even add like refried beans to this as well. So then you have the refried beans and the black beans. Hi, Moo. Hi. Pretty cool. They actually brought the potatoes back. They took the potatoes off the menu for half of a year or so. I think there was so much of a protest, they brought it back. And I just read Taco Bell is going to be partnering with Beyond Meat. So Liv kindly says, Taco Bell is putting Beyond Meat on the menu. Taco Bell's Beyond Meat partnership is official. The chain announced today that for the first time ever, it's putting plant-based meat on its US menu. Trial within the next year. Hopefully more meat eaters will choose that option instead of the beef option and it'll give vegetarians and vegans more options on the menu. I mean, there's already a ton of options anyway because you can substitute beans for anything on the menu. It doesn't say when it's going to roll out, but it does say that it's going to be in, on the US menu nationwide. They took the seven layer burrito off the menu, but the way that I just ordered it is a way that you can still order the seven layer burrito and it actually comes out cheaper. You get the cheesy bean and rice burrito, no cheese and no creamy jalapeno sauce, add potatoes and guac and add lettuce. And then another cool thing you can order is nachos. I don't know if you heard him, but when I asked for nachos without cheese, he was like, what? You want nachos without cheese? Weirdo. Wait, so you, so you don't want nachos with cheese? No, thank you. But as long as you get the black beans and the guacamole, there's enough sauce on there. Who comes with the chips, lettuce, guacamole, and black beans. And I think I ordered potatoes as well, but they didn't put it on this. Maybe I forgot to add the potatoes on here, but it tastes really good if you add potatoes as well. And it tastes just as good because those black beans and the guac are really creamy and they add a lot of sauciness. Now I'm gonna take you to my computer and I'm gonna show you other options that you can order at Taco Bell because there are a lot of them. So a cool thing you can do is you can go to Taco Bell and you can go to their menu and they actually have like a vegetarian section. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I think would be good and I'll show you ways to upgrade them. So this spicy potato soft taco looks really good. Um, and this is what's included, potatoes, cheese, chipotle sauce, and lettuce. All you have to do is say, make it fresco. And that takes the cheese and the chipotle sauce off. And you then you can add I think it would be good to add black beans to that or refried beans to make it a little more filling, to add some protein. Another thing that looks interesting is this black bean chalupa. I did look up the ingredients for the chalupa and it is vegan, the, um, the chalupa wrap, and it is vegan. It comes with all of this right here and then you can just make it fresco. That's, that gets rid of the sour cream and the cheese. 
and then you can just add potatoes. I think, honestly, we'll just add potatoes to everything. It would taste really good. You could also add guacamole. That would be good. This is another thing that is really nice to order. Um, they took it off the menu for a little bit, but I guess it's back. The Power Menu Bowl Veggie, and it comes with all of this stuff. Then you just order it fresco style, and that will get rid of the sour cream and cheese. Make sure to tell them to also take out the avocado ranch sauce. Sometimes they will leave that on accidentally. And then I would just add, again, potatoes. <laughs> Maybe add refried beans if you want some more beans. Bean burritos are also nice to order. Really simple, straightforward. You can also order a black bean burrito and they'll give you black beans instead of refried beans. And then all you need to do is order it with no cheese. Um, again, you can add potatoes. I think I'd always suggest that. You can add guacamole. You could add lettuce if you want to spice it up a little bit. But yeah, this is a nice, easy thing to order. And then I showed you how to order the seven layer burrito using the cheesy bean and rice burrito. You just get it fresco style. It takes the cheese and the jalapeno sauce off. Then you add potatoes, lettuce, and guacamole. And that makes it a seven layer burrito. This would also be a super simple thing to order as well. Black beans and rice. It's literally just seasoned rice and black beans. You could soup it up with a little bit of guacamole or add potatoes. Another thing you can do that I love to do when I'm not like super hungry, but I just need something, is to order a crunchy taco or a soft taco. And then you can just substitute beans for the beef. And then you just get it fresco style and it takes the cheese off. And yeah, see they tell you down here a way to make it vegetarian. You just remove the meat. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope it helped show you that you can find vegan options anywhere as long as there's a Taco Bell. <laughs> and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you all in the, in the next video. Bye.